What's up guys, it's me Jamming Music Man. I'm pretty sure by now you've heard about the passing of one of my music heroes, David Bowie. David Bowie passed away just this past Sunday. Um, he put out what is now going to be his last album, the Black Star album, came out just last week. And his birthday was just this past Friday. And just this past Sunday, he had left us. And, you know, I'm very shocked. And for me, it's one of those moments you'll, you know, just like you heard the news of when Kurt Cobain died or John Lennon or Elvis or Amy Winehouse or, you know, Jimi Hendrix. One of those, you know, what was strange is, you know, when I was getting off of work and I turned on the radio and there they are talking about the passing of David Bowie and, you know, I spent that whole night listening to some of his classic albums on my iPod and then I hear the news of his passing and it's just like, man, can't believe it. I didn't even know he had cancer and, you know, I just want to spend these next few minutes just reflecting on David's career and, you know, throughout our lifetime there's those certain artists or there's those certain bands that we, you know, study from beginning to end. You know, he's not just a one hit wonder album type artist. He's one of those artists that you can really dig deep into their music from the beginning of their career all the way to the end. There's so many countless different David Bowie periods. And for me, I always, my favorite David Bowie period is the Berlin Trilogy. Of course, that was when he, uh, him and Iggy Pop were living in Berlin and they were just influenced by all the electronic music that was going around in Germany at the time, like Kraftwerk. And the Berlin Trilogy, which was Low Heroes, and uh, Lodger. Love those albums, love that music. But, um, you know, I want to show some, some of my favorite uh, David Bowie albums. Uh, David Bowie's Low. This is the first album in the Berlin Trilogy. Classic album. And, you know, one of the first albums here in the States that people were really introduced to electronic music. And, you know, it didn't sell a lot of records at that time, but this is a great album nonetheless, very influential. Another uh, great Dave Bowie album is, uh, many people consider this album, you know, not one of David's best, but it, it's good nonetheless, and it's uh, David Bowie's Station the Station. This was the album right before the Berlin Trilogy, and he was really stuck in his thin white Duke period at this time, but, you know, a great album nonetheless. Um, David Bowie's Aladdin saying, what's strange is I did an album review of this album just last week, the week of the release of his Black Star album, and, you know, classic track, one of the best album covers of all time right here, and, you know, the feel of this album, I know David had called this album as Ziggy Goes to America, basically, you get that Ziggy Stardust glam rock feel, but with, uh, you know, an American... Detroit, Motown, blues rock type feel, but a great album. One of the best album covers and one of David's best. Another uh, great David Bowie album. Really the one that helped him break out in the mainstream here in the States and that's the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust. This is the this is actually the first Bowie album I picked up and uh, you know I love the whole Ziggy Stardust character. One of the best 70s albums and one of the best uh, glam rock albums. And of course, one of David's best. And for me, this next album right here is for me, my favorite David Bowie album. And that's Heroes. And of course, I love the track Heroes. I mean, you hear that song in movie soundtracks today and commercials great song and a lot of people have considered heroes as like the first time you know they were introduced to electronic music and this was actually the second album in David Bowie's Berlin trilogy but this is my favorite one by far but uh you know you guys just want you to share some of your memories what was your favorite David Bowie album or what was your favorite uh, David Bowie period you know it changed his style so many times 
over the decades, you know, way before Lady Gaga, way before Madonna. I mean, there was David Bowie, and he is the, the king of music and the king of fashion. And definitely going to be missed. But I just want to hear from you guys. Feel free to share some of your memories. But guys, before I let you go, I want to pay just a little tribute to David. And I know you guys, if you're a David Bowie fan, you're definitely going to know this song. And definitely sing along. But um, just want you guys to get your lighters out. Pay tribute to David Bowie. Mr. Bowie.